Uh, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? In thy name cast out devils, in thy name done many wonderful works. These are the two pools, first two pools. It's, it, the gift comes from God, legitimate comes from God. But the Brahman acknowledges that, anointed ones at the end time. They are also being used by God. But we have to walk in the light. We have, the main emphasis in, is in the word. It was the word that also gave them these credits for the gift. They also used the word of God. They had this partial revelation of the word of God. But we have to walk. We must not put a period in the message. So when the message walk, uh, uh, nung, nung lumakad ang mensahe, <laughs> nung lumakad ang mensahe, um, uh, kailangan may bukas na puso, yung pinangkit kanina, open, being open to, he opened up the mysteries. And this may be what I could like to share. He didn't close up the mysteries. The mysteries continue. Because he gave us that heart, uh, the third pool here. I would equate it to the turning of the heart. The turn of the heart. It's not yet all uh, specific doctrines and mysteries. This is the heart. I use another term, Berean. Um, it is a kind of attitude wherein you hunger for the word. You're after his revelation. You're not after carnal things. You're not after material things, blessings. That's what the Pentecostals have been advertising. So, uh, Christ will say, I never knew you. He that work iniquity. What is iniquity? Iniquity, inequality. God gave you that gift. But you do not use it to build up your own empires. That's what others have done. You use that gift so that he, the people could be brought to the world. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, those gifts were for a sign. The tongues were for a sign. It's not for something for a show, but to bring people back to the world. When people are brought back to the world, then the, it's what was mentioned a while ago. It's between you and God. It is third pool, God revealing himself to you. The pastors, the prophet, the ministers, everyone is just assisted you. They're just Eliezer. They have just assisted you to get back with Jesus Christ, to become one with Jesus Christ in the Word. And that doesn't mean necessarily you know everything. But at least because you have opened up, you receive his seal, then gradually he will give his revelation to you. So here in the third pool, uh, turning third heart is also I was, oh, is the word rapturing faith. Um, and also there was the mention of seven thunders, but not, that's not that topic here. Rapturing faith, what qualifies you to the rapture? Because you understand some certain set of doctrines. That's our mistake. Sometimes we insist on that. No, you just need the heart just need to open up. The day you hear His voice, harden up your hearts. And whether you die earlier or you uh, you reach the day of rapture, you will go up in the air, even though whatever level you understand. Because as long as you live, one basic manifestation is you will walk in the light. You will not stop. You will not close. You will not be judgmental of others. Just because uh, you had some difference, you think you are correct, they are wrong. You're all, you have this forbearance to prove out each other's evidences. And you have that divine love for a brother. If you think he's in error, you can sit it down with him, as the prophet had said, to be done to him. So this is uh, the aspect. Uh, this is also the mystery of the seven seal. It, you could not explain this. Because it is something that's taking place in your heart. It's something that's taking place between you and God. Uh, look at Revelation chapter 6. The seventh seal is not included there. The seventh seal in chapter 8 talks about uh, from the seven spirits, if the seven angels were introduced. Well, I could just uh, prematurely say the seven thunders. So, now, uh, let me, since I mentioned seven others, let me just correlate it now. 
The seven thunders, seven angels, and brought from God, they anointed the seven star messengers. It's a rapture in faith. In the Church Ages booklet, uh, Barbara emphasized every star messenger, it brings a revival back to the Word. There was always a straying away from the Word, then uh, along comes a time, God will send a messenger to bring them back to the Word. The pattern goes back to Ephesians. Now, let me give you an additional manifestation of the third pole. Uh, it may not happen to a, to a local congregation, uh, as the whole population is. But collectively, all around the globe, those that, that God has predestined, those that God has chosen, that they have this spirit, this third heart, this very spirit, they will manifest this uh, super church uh, manifestation. They will be a royal priesthood. Uh, there won't be any partisanship in their spirit, wherever they may go. They will not be loyal to any particular group or home church, but that to the word, to the word. They will not be biased in their judgments. Whenever there are, shall we say, um, controversies or intrigues, they will be impartial. And uh, let me add about something about the third pool. I heard this in the radio, but I don't know where it was read. Uh, Pastor Jonathan Tagogon was uh, broadcasting on the radio. He mentioned about the third pool speaking the word into existence. So I haven't heard read that quote. But let me say something about that. Um, I believe some of them, some of people have been teaching that today you can manifest that. I believe that's temporary. It's similar to the first two posts. You can speak, someone will get healed. You may be so sure that will make you, we give you that uh, conviction that it will really happen. But take note. Um, I wrote an article in Philippity of Barbara The first two posts, you do not need to check out scripture whether that is true. You can just verify the person. It will take place. And if it, if it, if it, even if it does take place, that does not give you salvation. Being healed from the sick or having your secrets known, it just leads you to hunger for the word. But the word is the one that will give you salvation. So when you reach the third pool, you need, as what the prophet instructed, Check with the word. And that's most of the time people have forgotten to do. They've taken for granted what they believe in. So you're not a personal actor. You do not work out your own salvation. That's part of the third pool. It's between you and God. When you heard the message, what are you going to do with the message? Do you go back to the word? Do you prove up all things? Or just take for granted? If you take this for granted, then it won't be, di it won't be different from the first two pools. It's this. The third pool is very intimate. It's, very, it's uh, something about going back to the first love of the first apostles. They were on fire for the word of God. So, let me talk about speaking the word into existence. Like uh, he said, the squirrel will come out. Speaking the word into existence, I believe you can have this supernatural power when you have that glorified body. Your body is changed. But right now, if you have that, it's partial. You do not take any absolute reason of that. Because those are just supernatural gifts. Pentecostals look at the outward gifts that, that, as a show. But this gift, this is also supernatural, but it, it's not, it does not appear supernatural to others. It sounds natural. It's because it's deep within your heart. It's hidden within your heart. As Brother Brother said, uh, I'll meet you back there in the tent. It's between you and me. So it's not me for others to know. So this kind of experience, the personal experience. Right now, you can manifest that, you speak the word. But do not say it will only take place right now. Because speaking the word of existence is absolutely 100% uh, batting average. That will be when you have this glorified body. Then that's the time that will take place. But right now, it is the word. It's the word. You, the Bible says you will never commit any mistake anymore. It's because it's with regards to doctrine. But with regards to gifts, the super uh, healings, discernment, First Corinthians 13 says it will fail. It will pass away. You must not push, put your emphasis on that. So that's all I could say. To that with love. Okay, uh, 
Pagkatapos ni Pastor Ronnie, Pastor Danny po. Oh, sige po. Uh, susug lang po sa mga 1% uh, Pastor Roel 